high sum for another math. Easy solution. Trying to discuss another uh, derivatives of hyperbolic functions proof video, and now go over this uh, this derivative here. Uh, basically, derivative tan hyperbolic tan of x equals to hyperbolic secant squared of x, and basically prove this uh, derivative here. Uh, basically, I went over uh, hyperbolic functions and other derivatives in my earlier videos. So if you want to learn more about that, make sure to watch the video links below. Basically, to prove this derivative, uh, well, we could just use um, the definition of tan of x or hyperbolic tan of uh, x. I'm not sure how you call it. So basically, if, if this equals to, uh, if we let y equals to hyperbolic tan of x, this equals to, similar to trigonometry, Sinh or hyperbolic sine of x divided by hyperbolic cos of x right here, and now now we find a derivative of this using the uh, quotient rule. Basically, if we have y equals f divided by g, the derivative is going to be equal to um, this is going to be f prime g minus f g prime all divided by g squared. See proof of this in the video link below in the quotient rule. So basically, I'll just uh, circle this you know, just to get it out of the way. So now, basically, if we find the derivative of the top, we'll get, well, the derivative of sinh x, that's going to be our f, and cosh x is going to be our g. So that's going to be, and the derivative of this one is this equal to cosh uh, of x right here. So that is the derivative of sinh of x. You see proof of this in my video, uh, earlier video in the video link below. And then we multiply by g, which is cosh of x, but then since it's the same, we just put a squared instead of multiplying it there. So now we subtract. Uh, subtract now, just we just type in this uh, cinch of, of x right here. That's our f, this one right here. And then multiplied by the derivative of cosh x. And the derivative of cosh x, cosh x is equal to hyperbolic sine of x. So we could put it here or just put a squared. And now we just divide by g squared, which is cosh of x squared right here. So now we have this, and, and I showed in my earlier video, this top part, is a, the identity of this one is just equals to 1. You can see proof of this in the video link below as well. So that equals to 1, so we'll be left with 1 over cosh squared of x. And now the definition of of uh, secant, uh, hyperbolic secant squared is going to be 1 divided by this, and this is just equal to secant h squared of x, and there is our proof. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully, you learned from this really quick video, and uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.